done. Hi. <laughs> Good night. I'm just cooking for for Iftar, you know. So what I'm saying, like, uh, that's not a question for Muslims to answer. That's a question for you guys to answer. Yep. Ask the Christians where's mm. Injil. As a matter of fact, I think Christians should ask the Roman Empire where is the real Injil. Burnt it. They burned the books. They killed the people. They crucified them. They are the ones you should be asking. Where is the real Bible? Not the Muslims. And that answers your questions tonight. How the okay? heck does that answer my question? Because you're asking, where is the Injil? So how, 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 do, how does you Injil, telling me? How does you telling me that Christians have a problem with where the real Injil is? How does that answer my question? You're st you're didn't you didn't answer my question. If you if you're telling me that I don't have the real Injil, then you know what the real Injil looks like, correct? Firstly, we in this age we don't know what it looks like because the Roman Empire they destroyed those books. So, so how, how do you so how do you like so how do you, so how do you know that Christians don't have the real Injil? Because okay, let me go back to history and, and tell you why. Why? Okay, let me tell you why. Let me just pull up my notes on what the what the history and all the books and stuff about the Roman war, the war in Roman and Empire and Constantine, what they did. This is clear evidence that nobody has the real Angel. None is, of us. What is what is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with who? You, you must don't know you, your you, history. You people, and that's just, you people as that's Muslims. Just, you don't know your history, and that's sad. Hold on, sorry. Guys, don't start the poll unless I say. Um I, I, I simply asked, what is the NGO? And the so NGO so are you are you telling is, is, is your answer the teachings we, of Jesus? The teachings of Jesus. That's what the yeah. NGO is? Yes. The teachings of Jesus. Okay, so Jesus had teachings. That is what the NGO is. What is that though? Like what teachings of Jesus? It was like things that he would have like wrote down scriptures, you know, people would have wrote down what he taught. People and would have wrote down what he taught? If you read, if you read a lot of uh, books about uh -huh. the re Jesus, uh -huh. you can see that they had many stories of Jesus. There was people, they pinned a different, they, some of them said that he was uh, a messenger sent by a higher light, right? And they had like different um, stuff that he taught. And then when the when when the woman came in into power, Constantine, and he wanted to, board, he wanted to bring the empire together, he said that, he said that the vision amongst the church is worse than war. So he had it to like bring everyone together. And whoever he said, when they crucified you're Jesus, off your they, notes. Didn't like any, they didn't like you're, any of his you're teachers. You're giving me a word salad so right like, now. You're doing too much. You're giving me a word so, salad. Okay, so let me explain to you. There's nothing what, to explain to me. You said you here. said that the Injil are the teachings of Jesus. And I asked you, what are those teachings? I didn't hear, that's, I didn't that's, hear the that's answer to that. That's the problem. We don't have the real, the true, the true essence teachings today. And so no then, how do you? So how do you know? How do you know then that the? How do you know that the NGO contained the teachings of Jesus? Because that's what the Quran said. The Quran said that he taught the main message one God. Wait. Right. Where does and he say? Where does he say that he taught the main message is one God in the NGO? Where does the, it say that? All the, all, all the prophets taught about one God. You didn't hear my question. Where does it say in the Quran? That Jesus taught there was one God in the Injil. Okay, so say if you read the entire Quran, you would see that the main messages of all the prophets, including Jesus, was about one God. We don't have to say, well, Jesus said one God. The Quran says all the prophets said that, and Jesus was a prophet, so he said that. Jesus was a prophet, so he said that. How do you know that he said that in the Injil? In the angel? Yes. Because the Quran said so. The Quran yeah, said, where, where that, does, said where, that. Yeah, where does the Quran say that Jesus said there's only one God in the angel? Okay, so you, you want to get technical, right? Yes, I'm very specific. You know me. So you, you, you do you want you you want me to show you a scripture in the Quran that specifically says that Jesus said in the angel that there is one God. Yeah. Do you know how do you know how stupid that sounds? No, I think it's pretty fair. If you, I want the Quran to tell me what was in the Injil, at least something. Have you read the entire Quran before? Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you think the Quran has to tell us what was in the Injil? Yes. If it said it confirms 
what was in the NGO? Yes, it has to tell me what's in the NGO. Why? Because the Quran says it's a detailed explanation of everything. So it mentions the NGO, so it has to be detailed about all of what the NGO uh, has and is. Okay, so to begin with, right? To begin with, let's take this slowly, right? Whatever Jesus taught, right? Muhammad also taught. They taught the same stuff with additional stuff. So Muhammad came with more stuff and he completed the deen. Now the NGO was not meant to, to be preserved. Allah did not want those books to be preserved for whatever reasons, because he said that those stuff would, was for a, a specific time. So it, it, did, it doesn't have to be preserved. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be um, stuff. However, he made it he made it that the Quran would be preserved. So we don't have to know what details was in the angel because that was for that time. And if it, they, probably there's remnants of it, there is, but you don't have to you don't have to look at a Quran or a Bible to be the judge. Just look at history, look at look at the Roman Empire, look at the laws, look at the stuff that happened, look, look at the wars, look at these things. Any person who does who doesn't have a religion. And they do history and they do their research on these things. They can they can make it from their own judgment that we don't have we don't have the NGO. We don't have what Jesus taught specifically. We don't have it, and that's just facts. So you're asking you're, you're asking Muslim this question, but you have to ask yourself this question to yourself. We you have to ask Christians and Muslims what happened to the NGO. That's so. Don't ask Muslims what happened to it. We we don't care. We have the Quran now. The Quran came and saved us from 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 the Roman Empire. So All your right. question, your you, question you is, is, is 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 your question is dumb. Okay, my question is dumb, guys. Guys, let, just to let you guys know, the question, what is the Injil, <laughs> is a dumb question to Muslims. You want to know Isn't why? It, no. Excuse me. Wait, I let you go on for a long time. I didn't interrupt you. <laughs> As Muslims, they are telling us. And he and he's not. She's not the only one that said that. Even the even the previous Muslim that was before her that that I dropped, even he said the question that I'm asking or the way that I'm asking it, it's like it's it's not smart. It's not an in intellectual way. It's not an intellectual question. It's very interesting that the Muslims are telling me a seeker of truth, and thousands of people who are watching this, eleven hundred on YouTube, nine hundred here on on TikTok. And they're telling us as Muslims, for all of you guys that might wonder what the Injil is, since it doesn't exist and we don't have it and we've never seen it, to ask what it is in the first place is a dumb question. The Injil is a teaching. Sorry, I didn't I didn't say it's your Simple. turn to speak. I didn't say it's your turn to speak. So when we ask specifics about the Injil, the reason why, and I have a hunch, it's my hunch. This is this is just me observing you guys and dealing with this question. This is my hunch. I have a hunch that the reason why you guys say that it's a dumb question, asking what the Injil is, asking what is this revelation that was given to the Messiah, the Messiah, the anointed one that he preached, the only one who's identified as the word of Allah, okay, the spirit. Don't interrupt me, please. What is the don't interrupt me, please. The word of Allah, the one who's identified as the spirit of Allah, the only one in the Quran who other than Allah can create light, the only one other than Allah who knows the unknown, who sees the unseen, the unknown and things of this nature. This person, the revelation that he came with, the Injil, trying to wonder what that is, is a dumb question. Just want to put it in perspective. Okay. Oh, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. I so mean, now, I mean, so now I'm going to now, <laughs> I have questions about what you said. If, okay. if what the Injil, asking what is the Injil is a dumb question, I have questions about what you said about it. So you said, for example, you said that the Injil is only for a specific time. Can you show me the Quran verse that says that? Yeah, sure. Good. Um, if you read the whole Quran, you would know that Jesus, he came to the, the children of Israel at that time and he brought, he, pre he, he preached the angel, right? And whatever happened was for that time. 
Okay. Yeah, where does the Quran say that what Jesus taught and what he brought being, being the Injil was only for that time? Show me the verse. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can think. Because it's just common sense that if you read the whole thing, you'll just conclude that that is how it is. It's like a conclusion. <laughs> oh, so it's not what the Quran says. It's just what you're let making me, up. Let me, let me see if I get a verse, though. Got let it. me see if I get the verse. And okay. if I don't get the verse... I just noticed of a basic conclusion knowledge after reading the entirety of the Quran. Okay. Okay, because you're you're asking for like um a scripture. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm, a, I'm asking for and dare I say it, ladies and gentlemen, a source. Dare dare I say it? What I'm asking for, excuse my language, okay. evidence. Uh, forgive me, forgive me for asking for. Excuse me, guys. Like plug your ears a basis for what the heck you're talking about forgive me sorry forgive me please forgive me so you want to to know that why if the angel was only for that time right yeah i want to know the verse of the quran that says that that the angel was only for that specific time when jesus preached it on earth to Israel. Okay. Shuba doop da ba da doop ba doop da ba da da doop da. Shuba doop da ba da doop ba doop da ba da da doop da. Shoo ba doop da ba da doo ba doop da ba da da doo da shoo da dee doo. Come on, shoo da dee doo. Everybody, y'all know the tune now. Shoo ba doop da ba da doo ba doop da ba da da doo da. Hey, shoo ba doop da ba da doo ba doop da ba da da doo da. Bum bum ba da bum bum. Shuba doop da ba da doop doop da ba da da doop up. Shoot up, dee doo. Shoot up, dee doo. Okay. You want me to help you? Uh, with your verses? <laughs> with my. With my logic, you, as a, with with my knowledge, and come to and come to conclusion. Rather let, than let me let me help words. you with my knowledge as a sheikh. I can I can help you. I, you know I'm a sheikh, and you know I can help you. Let me tell you why I said that. I don't care why you said it. I want the verse. If you, do you have knowledge of the Quran? What do you get from the? Okay, you know you know you know, Quran, you know right? I'm a sheikh. Okay, you know I have knowledge of the Quran. Let me ask you a question. If you read the whole Quran, what do you get from? What the NGO was for the Quran wasn't it for the people of Israel at that time? Nope. So what was 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 the was the NGO meant for everyone of yeah, each generation yeah, to come? Yes. And what makes you think that? I'm glad you asked. I thought you would never ask. So number one, the Quran says that Jesus is a sign and a mercy for mankind. Not just Israel, for mankind, for everyone. He himself is a sign for mankind. Very yes. good, very good. So Jesus is a sign and a mercy, not just a sign, a mercy as well for mankind. Okay. You know what? So what do signs do? What 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 is the sign for? A sign. Mm -hmm. What's it? What's it? What's the purpose? When God sends signs to mankind, what is it for? So we, we, in the Quran, we believe that Jesus is going to come back and he's going to rule and he's going to bring peace and he's going to bring justice and he's going to do all these things. So Girl. when God says that he is a sign for mankind, this is what he's talking about. Girl, what is the purpose of a sign? That's all I asked. It's a sign that you know that God's like God exists, his teachings exist, you know that he is true, like in these Very senses. Good. Very good. All the prophets that came with signs. Very good. They were all signs, so, not well, yeah. God. So here's the interesting thing. Prophets, some of the prophets came with signs, like God gave them signs to show mankind. 
But the Quran says that Jesus himself is a sign for mankind and a mercy. Not just that he comes with signs, but he is the sign and the mercy for mankind. But and so Jesus, listen, 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 pay attention. When I people, the signs, bro. but listen, when people look to Jesus, since he is the sign and he is the mercy, when people look to Jesus, they're supposed to come to the truth and knowledge of God, come to the truth that God is real, come to the truth that God has commandments that he has given mankind, come to the truth that God has desires for mankind. When they look at Jesus, it leads them to God. All of the prophets, yes. No, not all of the prophets, Jesus. No, in my Quran, all the prophets of that time. Okay, good. Show me in the Quran where it says Moses is a sign for mankind. So, he, the fact that he was a prophet is logical. Show me in the Quran where it says Moses is a sign. Moses himself. When, when, when he was when um the, the children of the Israelites at a time in Egypt when they recognized him, they said he was a sign. Show me, show me the verse. This was show me, right? Show me the verse. This is just basic knowledge, bro. Show me the verse. Muhammad was a sign. Every all the prophets were signs. Show and me the each verse. One of them, each one of them. Bell, 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 bell. Stop, stop wasting time and just show the verse. Show the verse. It's common knowledge. Okay, it's since it's com it's com since it's common knowledge, show me the verse that the common knowledge is based on. That backs up the common knowledge that Moses was a sign. Show me that. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> oh man. I love when Muslims say something and then you ask them to back up what they say and then they say, okay, I got you. Because you want you, you want people to like pull up verses and scriptures, but common sense will tell you that he one, got one second, the ten, one, one second. He got the Ten Commandments. One second, I'm trying to find the verse. <laughs> he got the Ten Commandments. Hold right? on, one second. That's, I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to find the verse. You're distracting me. I still can't get it. Hold on. Just give me like two more minutes. Sing the tune for me. Shoo doop da ba doop doop doop. The sign of God that's not true. That's not true. Allah gave many of the prophets many signs to show people that He is who He is. Yeah. You want you want the, you want it in in written words that He is a sign. Look at all look at all the signs around you. That alone is a sign. Oh yeah, one second, one second. Moses was the way to God. God gave him stuff to do. I can't he find the verse. I I even put my concentration face on. That everybody, everybody who knows their scriptures, they know this. You don't have to get a verse for this. It's in there. Do you, you really want me to pull up each and every single verse for you? Yes. You're wasting time. Yes. Yes. I want you. Yes. The, Moses, okay. The answer. The yes. Story. Yes. Yes. I want you, whenever you say something, Right. Whenever you say something, you, I so mean, you, you you've you been you've been here. Sorry, Bell. You've been here long enough. You know that when you say things, I'm going to ask you to prove what you're saying. I'm not just going to let you get away with saying whatever you want to say. And I just say, Colossus. OK, whatever. She said it. Colossus. No, show me okay, that. No problem. Let me let me see if I can pull up all the verses for you. I only want one. All you got to do is show me one. Habibi, mm -hmm. one verse where it says Moses is a sign himself. A because sign of you, what? Uh, just, no, just a sign. Because like, like it says, Jesus is 
a sign and a mercy for mankind. It says that Jesus himself is a sign. You said all prophets are signs. Show me where the Quran says any of the other prophets are signs. You know, I, I think it might say this about Muhammad somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, but show me where it says anybody else. Because it doesn't say this about all prophets. You, you are not being intellectual right now. That's, that's the thing. Hold on. I'm reading the story here. <laughs> I'm trying to find the story where he split the sea and all those stuff. Because it's a long story, so I'm going through it. This alone is a sign. You can't you can't just put in in Google search Quran verse that says Moses is a sign. You can't just put that in and it pop up for you. Okay. Um, just now. Dang, this surah is so long. <sighs> anyway, if you read the whole surah, <laughs> surah al, al araf <laughs> right? Surah al araf right? <laughs> that whole surah, that mm -hmm. there, he was assigned for the people. Show me. Okay? Show me. He was assigned. Show me where it says it. Huh? Show me where it says that. You can read the entire of surah 7, right? Hmm. What happened um, throughout uh, Moses' prophethood? As a prophet, the people he was assigned for the people, he led the people, you know, he made the people came to worship one God, you know, all these stuff are signs. Now, if you're if you're looking for the, a, a precise way that Allah says he is a sign, mm -hmm. this this here, all this whole surah is enough evidence to show that he was a sign for the people, Got and it. that's just common sense, bro. Okay. So Jesus is a sign. M Moses was a sign. Muhammad was a sign. It might not outrightly say Start that the poll. he is a sign. Just because it doesn't say it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You have to use your intellect. Start you have the, to come through. You have poll. to use your intellect, right? Yeah. Start the poll. The same, the same way how Jesus doesn't outrightly say he is God in the Bible, and you guys came to the conclusion that he is. Mm. You guys came to a conclusion. You guys did not nowhere in the Bible say he is God. I got but you, you guys concluded that. I got you. And Thank here you. you are, here you are trying to get direct answers from people. Sorry, I had to mute you, Bill, just for a second. Hey, moderator, stop start the poll, please. Yeah, because it's it's getting here and you don't like it. <laughs> no, no, no. You're doing you're doing well. You're doing well. You're cooking in here. Start the poll, ladies and gentlemen. Start the poll. Thank you so much for starting the poll. All right, you yes. got a minute. Everyone, I need you to vote. <laughs> top top left corner. No, Christians want direct answers. And yes, so you, your Bible can't give you direct answers. Hold on, just, just, just wait. Just wait, though. Just wait, please. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. Just wait. All the prophets are signs. Bill, just wait, please. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. Everybody, it's in the top left corner. You got yes. 30 seconds yes. to put your yes. votes in. Go after Roman Empire. Where is it in jail? Go after that. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll be, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Everybody Go vote. The government. Everybody why they, vote. Why they burn the books? Ask them why they burn the books. Why they kill the people? I just got to go ahead and just mute you. You're talking too much. Yep, if there's one thing Muhammad was right about, it's about the women. All right. So 286 people voted. 286 people voted. And seventy percent of the people said you have to go, so you gotta go, my friend. Yeah, Thank you so much. Christians. Appreciate you. Um, actually, most of them were Muslims. Um, they didn't want you on the stage. <laughs> A lot of those votes were Muslim votes. <laughs> All right, we got eleven hundred people watching here on TikTok. We got thirteen hundred people watching on YouTube. Is there anybody that can like offer us a? A legitimate case here 